Presswise Order Management. The front page of Presswise is the Orders tab, which we call the Dashboard. The Dashboard is designed to manage orders before they've been approved for production. Orders can be created in several ways. From Presswise storefronts, external sources such as third-party storefronts or API injections, converted from quotes by the customer or their CSR, or entered directly by salespeople or their CSRs. Orders move from left to right through the statuses represented by the various shapes on the page. Each status has the name of the status, and directly below it there is a number representing the number of orders currently in that status. Clicking on the name or number for a status gives you a sortable list of all the orders currently in that status. You can change the order of the list by clicking on the name in the header. You can also filter the view by source ID, salesperson, CSR, or designer if that function has been enabled. Large lists will show the first 25 and you can expand or contract the length of the list with this function on the right. Clicking on an order number brings you to the sales order control page for that order. You can see that the status is controlled by unlocking the order status list. The lock prevents accidental changes of statuses. We'll go into more depth on the sales order control page in another video. Orders can take one of two paths through the dashboard. The top path, in yellow, is for orders that need to be managed by CSRs or salespeople and prepress people. The bottom path, in gray, is called the auto path. and is for jobs that do not need that level of handling. Usually they came from an external trusted source, such as a storefront template or API source one that is known to send in jobs with specifications and artwork that do not need human review. The auto path has four checkpoints, which run every 10 minutes in order. So a job will typically go through the path in between 10 and 20 minutes, dropping into an exception bucket if there is an issue with the order, and lighting it red to draw attention. Jobs that are created in-house or storefront orders that need special handling will move through the yellow statuses when a person manually changes their statuses. Newly created orders arrive in the news circle where they should be reviewed for instructions and move to another status immediately. Prepress review is for orders that need handling and is connected to the custom set of blue boxes at the top. These will have wording related to the operation of your particular print shop. Orders can go through the proof cycle as many times as necessary until they have been approved by the customer. There are also special bins for orders that have been placed on hold and those waiting for files from the customer. Approved orders will be injected into production, which will be managed separately under the Production tab, but are still accessible through the green Production Status bucket. After production, orders will be routed through the shipping department and finally onto one of the three boxes on the right side of the dashboard, recently shipped, out for delivery, and waiting for pickup. The out for delivery page can be printed for drivers and includes a map of the destination. The drivers will close them out on this page when they return. After orders have been picked up or delivered, they get the shipped status at which time they are ready for export to accounting with the rest of the orders.